There's a good chance that if you drive a Volkswagen or Audi, you've noticed the EPC light appear on the dashboard. Although this might seem a little alarming, what does it actually mean and what should you do about it? The electronic power control light on your vehicle is a warning light that signifies a problem with the EPC system. This light usually indicates a problem with the vehicle's throttle system when it illuminates. Depending on where the issue is, the EPC light may also appear alongside the engine, ABS, or ESP lights. The engine, brake, transmission, and steering control units all keep an eye on the electronic power control system. Let's look at the most common causes EPC lights appear on Volkswagen cars' dashboards. We will also talk about diagnosing and fixing this issue. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Throttle Body Failure When you press the gas pedal, the throttle body determines how much air should go into the engine. The throttle body is used by the EPC system to regulate engine power, so if the throttle body has a problem, the EPC system won't work properly. Nowadays, the majority of throttle bodies are electric, and if there is a problem, your dashboard will flash the EPC and check engine lights. Bad AB Sensor Your car's AB sensors track the velocity of each wheel. Although there are other systems that use this information, one of them is the EPC system. The AB sensors are found on the wheel hubs, where they are highly exposed to water, rust, and mud. As a result, they are prone to malfunction. The AB's reluctor ring, from which the AB sensor derives its speed measurement, may also be at fault. Failed brake pedal switch. The brake pedal switch, also known as the brake light switch, detects when you depress the brake pedal, causing the vehicle to turn on the brake lights. Other uses of the switch include the EPC system and the cruise control system. This system will illuminate the EPC light and store a fault code if there is a problem with the brake pedal switch because it will be unable to determine whether you are pressing the brake pedal or not. A bad steering angle sensor. The steering angle sensor, which is located behind your steering wheel, measures the angle at which the wheel is turned. This information will be used by the EPC system to determine which way you turn the steering wheel and to adjust the brake force. Where the wires to the steering wheel angle sensor and the steering wheel buttons go, there is also a clock spring that allows you to turn the steering wheel. It is common for this clock spring to break, and if it does, the steering angle sensor may appear to be malfunctioning. Failed Brake Pressure Sensor The brake pressure sensor is likely to have failed if you drive a Volkswagen and notice an EPC light on your dashboard. Similar to a brake light switch, the brake pressure sensor measures the amount of brake pressure that is applied by pressing the brake pedal rather than just on or off. Unfortunately, the brake pressure sensor is housed inside the ABS control module on many VW models, making it very challenging to replace. If there is a sensor issue, you frequently have to replace the entire ABS control module, which can be very expensive. A bad engine sensor If one of the numerous engine sensors that the EPC system depends on for proper operation has a problem, an EPC light might show up on your dashboard. It is essential to read the trouble codes when you notice the EPC light in order to pinpoint the problem's cause. Some engine sensors that can turn on the EPC light include the MAF, IAT, ECT and O2 sensors. Wiring Issues Due to the extensive electronic wiring in modern vehicles, there is a significant chance that the EPC light is being caused by a wiring issue. Unfortunately, unless you know exactly what to look for, wiring issues can be very difficult to find. Broken wires, corroded electrical contacts, or burned contacts are the most typical wiring issues. You might need to hire a professional if you've tried everything else on this list and can't figure out the wiring. How to fix? You must use an OBD2 scanner to read the trouble codes in order to resolve the issue with EPC light. You must keep troubleshooting the trouble codes after you understand what they are trying to tell you. Your money will be wasted if all you do is make educated guesses. More details about the actions you should take to fix your EPC light are provided below. Check trouble codes. The first thing you should do is use an OBD2 scanner to read the trouble codes. Modern automobiles have sophisticated onboard diagnostic systems and if you see a warning light on your dash, it means that one of the control modules has a fault code stored. You can save time and money by reading these error codes as opposed to assuming and replacing the wrong parts. For any stored trouble codes, you must scan the engine, steering and transmission control units. Either bring your car to a mechanic to have the trouble codes read, or use an OBD2 scanner at home to do it yourself. The cheapest diagnostic scanners, however, can only read the engine control module, and since this problem might also affect other control modules, it's advised to either purchase a more sophisticated diagnostic scanner or have a workshop read the codes for the other control units. Check the brake light switch. The brake light switch is a frequent cause of the EPC light to illuminate, and checking it is frequently quite simple. Just ask someone to apply the brakes while you inspect your car's brake lights. The likelihood that the brake light switch is malfunctioning is high if there are no brake lights. However, the brake light switch in many car models has two different currents, so even if the brake lights function, there is a possibility that the switch is still broken. 
Therefore, using a scan tool to diagnose it is preferable. Check sensor data. If you have a diagnostic scanner but can't find any good trouble codes to continue troubleshooting from, you need to check the sensor data. Verify the values coming from the brake pressure sensor to make sure they seem accurate. You should also examine the sensor data from every other engine sensor as well as the sensors connected to the brake and EPC system. Talk to a professional. Without the proper skills and equipment, diagnosing EPC systems can be quite challenging. Therefore, if you tried the fundamental fixes but are still unable to identify the issue, it may be time to call a qualified mechanic who has experience with this issue. Even though hiring a mechanic can be expensive, you'll probably end up spending less than if you just guess and replace the wrong parts. You should unquestionably get in touch with a Volkswagen or Audi workshop that has experience with these problems if you want to fix the EPC light. You should also look into any campaigns or recalls for your specific VW or Audi model. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.